What if one day you woke up and there was no religion on earth? Imagine a world devoid of the temples, churches, mosques, and synagogues that dot our landscapes. A world untouched by the rituals and holidays that mark the passage of time. It's a thought-provoking premise, isn't it? Religion, in its multifaceted forms, has been a cornerstone of human societies throughout history. From the ancient civilizations who worshipped a pantheon of gods, to the modern monotheistic religions that command billions of followers, faith has always held a significant role. It's a concept that transcends borders and cultures, binding communities together and providing a moral compass for many. But what exactly is religion? At its core, religion is a system of beliefs, often centered around supernatural beings or forces, that attempts to explain the mysteries of life and death, the nature of the universe, and our place within it. Religion offers a framework for understanding the world and our experiences within it, coupling these explanations with moral and ethical codes of conduct. Yet, religion is not just about beliefs, it's also about practices, rituals, and community. It's about the songs sung in unison, the shared meals during religious festivals, the collective mourning at funerals, and the communal joy at weddings. It's about the sense of belonging and identity that comes from being part of a religious community. But as we delve into the topic of today's video, the existence of religion, it's crucial to recognize that religion is a double-edged sword. It can inspire acts of great kindness and self-sacrifice, but it can also justify violence and intolerance. It can provide comfort and purpose, but it can also breed fear and guilt. In the following scenes, we will be exploring these dichotomies, examining the benefits and drawbacks of religion, and envisioning what a world without religion might look like. Religion is a deeply ingrained part of human existence, but what are the implications of its presence or absence? As we embark on this journey of exploration, let's keep an open mind and a respectful dialogue. Religion, for many, provides a roadmap to navigate the complexities of life. It offers a framework of values and norms that helps people make sense of the world, guiding their actions, defining their relationships, and shaping their identities. Imagine religion as a compass. It points us in the direction of moral guidance, offering a set of principles that inform our decisions and actions. It's like a moral GPS, providing guidelines on what is considered right and wrong, helping us to make decisions that are not only beneficial to us, but also to the community at large. Religion also fosters a sense of community. It brings people together, creating bonds of shared beliefs and practices. It's like a social glue, uniting individuals into a larger whole. It provides a common ground where people can come together, share experiences, and support each other. We see this in religious gatherings, where people meet to worship, celebrate, mourn, and reflect together. Moreover, in times of distress and uncertainty, religion can offer comfort and solace. The belief in a higher power, the hope for a better life after death, or the faith in divine justice can provide a sense of relief and reassurance. It's like a comforting blanket, wrapping us in a warm embrace when we are faced with trials and tribulations. And let's not forget the role of religion in preserving cultural heritage. Many of our traditions, rituals, and festivals are deeply rooted in religious beliefs and practices. It's like a treasure chest, holding the gems of our ancestral wisdom and cultural legacy. So, as we can see, religion can play a significant role in our lives. It can guide us, unite us, comfort us, and connect us to our roots. It offers a sense of purpose, a feeling of belonging, a source of comfort, and a link to our past. Religion, undeniably brings numerous benefits to individuals and societies, but does it also have a darker side? We will explore this question in our next segment. Stay tuned. While religion can be a force for good, it can also be a source of conflict and division. This duality of religion is evident throughout history and even in contemporary times. Let's delve into the darker side of this coin, the drawbacks of religion. One of the most prominent negatives that religion can engender is societal division. Religion, by its very nature, categorizes people into different groups based on their faith. This can lead to an us versus them mentality, creating rifts within societies and fostering a sense of superiority or exclusivity among different religious groups. Furthermore, 
The history of humankind is riddled with instances where religion has incited violence. Whether it's wars waged in the name of religious crusades centuries ago, or more recent instances of religious extremism, the misuse of religion has led to bloodshed and loss of life on a massive scale. The justification of violence through religious doctrine or belief is a stark example of how religion can be distorted to serve destructive purposes. Religion can also promote intolerance. While many religious teachings promote peace, love and acceptance, there are instances where these teachings are interpreted in ways that breed intolerance. This can manifest as prejudice, discrimination, and even persecution against those who do not conform to a particular religious belief or practice. Moreover, religion has been used to justify harmful practices. For instance, certain religious doctrines have been interpreted to endorse practices like gender discrimination, suppression of scientific progress, or even human rights violations. These interpretations, often at odds with the core principles of compassion and love found in many religions, highlight the potential for misuse and distortion of religious beliefs. Religion, like any other social construct, has its downsides. But what happens if we remove it altogether? The question is not a simple one to answer. It requires a deeper understanding of the role religion plays in our lives and societies. It's a thought-provoking query that we'll explore in the next scene. So. Stay tuned as we envision a world without religion. Imagine a world where beliefs are personal, not institutionalized. What would that look like? In this hypothetical realm, without the structure and guidance of organized religion, would we see an upsurge in scientific progress? If spirituality becomes a private affair, with no external dogmas or doctrines to adhere to, could this lead to a more accelerated rate of scientific discovery and technological advancement? Perhaps. Unshackled from religious constraints, the pursuit of knowledge may be liberated, inspiring innovation and exploration in fields previously considered taboo or controversial. Then, consider the potential decrease in conflict. Much of the world's strife has roots in religious differences. Without these, could we see a reduction in wars, terrorism, and social tension? It's a tantalizing possibility. Yet it's important to remember that humans have a knack for division. In the absence of religious discord, could other forms of tribalism simply take its place? Now, let's ponder the moral landscape in a world devoid of religion. Would we find ourselves adrift without the moral compass that religion often provides? Or would we perhaps see the emergence of more dynamic and diverse ethical frameworks, rooted in empathy, reason, and shared human experience? However, envisioning a world without religion isn't all rosy. What about the community and sense of belonging that religious institutions often foster? The loss of these could lead to isolation and a lack of social cohesion, not to mention the existential distress. Without the comforting narratives about life, death, and the purpose of existence that religion often provides, how would we cope? Religion, for better or worse, has been an integral part of human culture for millennia. It's shaped our societies, our morals, our conflicts, and our progress. Imagining its absence invites us to explore new perspectives, to question and to wonder. A world without religion is a fascinating thought experiment, but the reality is much more complex. Religion, a force for good, a source of strife, or perhaps a bit of both. As we've journeyed through this exploration of the role and impact of religion, we've seen the duality of its nature. Religion, as we've established, can be a source of profound comfort and community. It often provides moral guidance and inspires acts of kindness, charity and love. It can foster a sense of belonging and provide a framework for understanding the world and our place within it. Yet, we've also observed the other side of the coin, the potential for religion to be used as a tool for division, conflict and oppression Instances of religious extremism, intolerance, and bigotry are unfortunately not uncommon, and historically, religion has been at the center of many wars and conflicts. This duality leads us to a conundrum. On one hand, we recognize the benefits of religion, its ability to provide solace, community, and moral guidance. On the other hand, we cannot ignore the potential for harm, for division and conflict. So, should religion exist or not? 
Envisioning a world without religion, we've contemplated the potential consequences. Would such a world be more peaceful, more rational, more united? Or would it lack moral compass, community, and a sense of purpose? The absence of religion might bring about new challenges, new divisions based on other aspects of human identity and belief. The answer to whether religion should exist or not is perhaps not a simple yes or no. It's a complex question that may ultimately lie in finding a balance. A balance that maximizes the benefits of religion, the comfort, the community, the moral guidance, and minimizes the drawbacks. The division, the conflict, the intolerance. Religion, like many aspects of human society, is a double-edged sword. And perhaps our goal should not be to eliminate it entirely, but to wield it in a way that brings about the most good, the most understanding, the most peace. Whether religion should exist or not is a complex question, and the answer may ultimately lie in finding a balance that maximizes the benefits and minimizes the drawbacks.